Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and every once in a while I like to get my hands on something a little bit different, and this is coming out soon in the United States. This is the Honor 8X. This is a really nice looking phone that is really budget friendly, but we'll talk more about that in a moment. Let's take a look at what's in the box. You've got a USB to micro USB, probably the only negative thing I can think of for this at all, and then this adapter will be changed out for the United States but you get the idea with that. It's just a USB adapter. Now, what makes this more unique, you can see this beautiful back. I love the back design, the two-tone. I think it looks really good. And in fact, it's probably one of the best looking phones as far as this goes. Honor's really good at that. Now on the front, we have a 6.5 inch display. So let me turn it on. You'll see it's booting up and it's a 6.5 inch display. The bezels are really small. You do have a little bit of a bezel here, but not much, very small around the outside. Now, before we set this up, let's talk about specs. This has a Kirin 710 CPU inside of it with GPU turbo. It's got a 3,750 milliamp hour battery and then has four gigabytes of RAM, 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. And then on the back, we've got a 20 megapixel camera plus two megapixel camera for low light and then a 16 megapixel forward facing camera. And it comes in black, blue and this really nice look looking red. So let's turn it back on. We'll get it set up. We're at the home screen and you can see it doesn't exactly look like stock Android, but it does have this Google Pixel launcher feel to it. And so far everything's fairly smooth. I do want to try out this night mode, but let's take a, a quick photo here of the Pixel 2 XL. and it's an AI camera and the initial photo looks pretty good actually. So I'll be testing this in low light and at night, things like that. And then you've got a 16 megapixel selfie camera and it's tracking my face pretty good. And this new current CPU that I'm not familiar with, uh, I'll have to try out as well. But you have GPU boost for things like games and that should be interesting as well. And then the battery life with a huge battery, it'll be interesting to see how long this will last. I really like the design of this phone. The glass looks nice, the two-tone, and the build is nice too. It's aluminum. You've got your power sleep wake button, your volume rocker, and they have a nice tactile feel to them. They're not cheap feeling. Then on the top, you've got your microphone. On this side, this is a little bit interesting for the U.S. market anyway. We'll pop this out here. Not only do we have dual SIM, we have expandable storage as well. So micro SD and two SIM cards. Slide this back in. And then on the bottom, maybe the only thing I don't really like about this is the micro USB. Everything else is pretty positive so far, but the headphone jack kind of makes up for that. You've got your other microphone and then a speaker. So really nice looking. I think it's, it's pretty decent, especially for a lower price. I'd like to hear if there's anything specific that you haven't been able to find that I could mention in a review and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.